Hello and welcome to the Crane Report. I'm Brett Day. And I'm Captain Amy Crane. Thanks for joining us. On Monday, May 9th, NSWC Crane hosted the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfare Systems, Rear Admiral Michael Manazir. This was his first visit to NSWC Crane, and he had the opportunity to see firsthand how we are continuing to expand the advantage with technological and innovative advances. This week, NSWC Crane is hosting the 9th Annual Association of Old Crows Electronic Warfare Capability Gaps Conference. The conference provides a forum for electronic warfare professionals from the military, government, industry, and academia fields to discuss issues related to the requirements of programs, platforms, and operations. NSWC Crane is hosting the Advanced Planning Briefings for Industry, also known as APBI, on May 17th. This collaborative event provides industry members with information and networking opportunities geared towards supporting NSWC Crane and the federal government. Those attending the event will have an opportunity to learn how to align their efforts with the Warfare Center community. On May 18th, Naval Support Activity Crane and Duke Energy will celebrate Indiana's first large-scale solar power plant with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. This event is expected to bring regional stakeholders to NSA Crane. As always, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at NAVC Crane. And be sure to join in our Like, Share, and Retweet campaign to see how we're expanding the advantage. On behalf of NSWC Crane Division, I'm Brett Day. And I'm Captain Amy Crane. Thanks for watching the Crane Report.